Good evening, everyone. For those of you who are just tuning in, we're live here on Shaw TV, and this is Soul Work, and I'm your host, Jenny Cousins. And we have officially opened up our phone lines, so if anyone has a question for me, give us a call, and or my guest, James, and that number is 403-539-6710. And I believe we already have a caller that is going to ask us a question. We're talking about higher consciousness and all kinds of things. And our first caller, it's Michelle. Michelle, you have a question for us. I do. It's specifically for yourself, Jenny. Okay. Uh, actually, it's sort of a two question. I wanted to know um, about the future of my health and my love life. Oh, okay. <laughs> How old are you now? I'm sorry? How old are you now? I'm in my late 50s. Okay. Um, I, I don't see that you're going to have any major health problems. I really don't. Um, if anything, this year for you, I'm really feeling that this, the energy of this year for you is going to be a lot lighter. And oh, that's so nice to hear. Yeah, it, it's going to be a lot lighter. You're, you're going to find that as you shift. When, what month is your birthday? December. Okay. So if you, around August... Around August, um, you might you might find that you might get kind of a little tilted, as I call it, a little bit. And it's just because you're shifting into a new cycle. The closer you're going to get to your birthday, you're going to feel like you're you're shifting, you know, okay. in all uh, in all areas of of your life. But in order to have your love life come forth, you have to be completely ready for it, and you have to know what you want. Because well, I, I I know what I want. At least I'm yeah, pretty sure. And, I no, I, I hear you because you don't want to go out there and just settle with, with anything. No, no. Um, I actually see you having two choices to choose from, to be honest with you. So huh. stay open. Um, there, there's someone with kind of light, lightish brown hair. Um, I hear the name Paul. I don't know why that name is coming through for me. Um, and then there's going to be another, another person who's tall, darker features. So just really get to know the both of them and then you can make a decision. Do you think that's gonna happen this year, Jenny? Yeah, one of them's coming in this year. So it, you're gonna to start to get to know this person and as we're moving into next year, 2018, the other person is gonna come along. Just to complicate things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, All right. But it, it doesn't matter right now because you gotta stay in the now. But I, I feel your health actually is gonna even improve the, this year. I just see like springtime, I hear things are gonna really kind of shift for you and even get better. You might even go into a new regime, like a health regime. Like oh, a, that's a health, such good news. Thank you for health, that. Health drink, stuff like that. I just really see, you know what, I wanna make some changes and something's gonna shift in you. That's why I keep on hearing shift. So okay. hang in. I like it. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> I appreciate that so very much. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. And thank you for calling in. My pleasure. Thanks again. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Happy New Year. And to you, Happy New Year. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye for now. Bye. Yeah, we all, we all shift at different times. Mm -hmm. Different times of the year. We all, and we have another caller as well. Good. Lenora. Lenora, you have a question for us? Okay, thanks. Hello? Hi there. How are you? Great, thanks. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you, James? Good, very good. Thank you. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, thank you both very much for all of the work that you do. It is just fantastic. I really enjoy uh, what the two of you do. It totally speaks to me. Um, my question kind of, I guess, is for both of you. I have two children right now, and... They're both going through some transitions. One's, I think, really awakening to what's happening and just with the higher consciousness and whatnot. And the other one, I'm not sure what's happening with him. So I was just wondering, and if for the two of you, I'm a firm believer that what you need to hear, you will do. And when you were saying with Paul, Paul's my husband. So I was on hold. Oh, isn't that Meeting. interesting? Okay. Yeah. Right? So. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Give me a first name of one of your children. Uh, one is Aiden, and one is Parker. Um, Aiden's very sensitive. He's a very, very, very old soul. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, he he does have a lot of hidden abilities, also, by the way. Um, but if anything, you're going to find that he's more sensitive than anything. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he, he might kind of be a little bit out there, out there. Um, I just kind of feel like he needs just to, needs to kind of have that zen kind of quietness, but he has to keep himself busy. Once he keeps himself busy and involved with certain things, you're going to find that he's going to be a lot more grounded. Right, because we call him Fred, actually, because he answers questions like he's in, like he's 90 years old, right? And he's yep. 14. Yeah. So, that's the old yeah. soul in him. And, th and right. that's why I said he's very sensitive because he's like a very sensitive, sensitive soul, which means that he can get messages all over the place where he's like, who is that? What's going on? It can really confuse him um, if he doesn't know what energy is coming with him. Mm -hmm. how, old is and he, he, how old is he again? He's 14. Yeah, so, yeah, he's got like three years to go, really. What were you going to well, say? Well, the, the indigo children. Yes. They're born with uh, a greater understanding, less of a veil than if we ever were. Uh, their, insights, mm -hmm. their insight is going to be greater. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, be very positive with your children. Um, let them discover who they are and, and basically um, try to make them question everything about the reality Agreed. around them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree and, 100 percent with yeah, that. And just and let them be themselves. Just really, really let them be themselves. Y you know, is what's really, really important. So, if if anything, Aiden might kind of get a little bit more confused than your other child. What's your other child's first name? Parker. Parker. Yeah. Um, I just really kind of feel like with how old's Parker? Eleven. Six. I kept on hearing the number six around for some reason. Um, but yeah, he's. I. I from now until he gets older a little bit, he's just going to kind of be in that kind of confused state of what he wants to do, what, who is he, all of that kind of thing. So well, he's having a lot of turmoil right now. Yeah, and he, he is. Uh, yeah, he. That's what he I mean. Doesn't seem. Yeah, her purpose, right? Like, and it's it's stopping him though. Yeah, like he's like, Mom, I don't know my purpose. It, I it doesn't matter. To know that. And and that's right? why. And, and that's what I said. Um, he's just got to kind of, he's going to take a little bit longer and just let him, that's why I said he's just not sure of who he is right now. So don't right. worry about that. Just say, you know what? You're, he's still young. He's still a child. So I of would just, course. yeah, I would just say, don't worry about that. That's not important right now. Take things one day at a time. So. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. It's every, it's really good. And thank you for calling in. We've already got other oh, people on Oh, thank you guys hold. so much. I appreciate it. Oh, both you're, of you. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, James. Okay. Ha happy New Year, guys. Bye. Happy Bye. New Year. Bye-bye. <laughs> and we have a lady on hold by the name of Jeannie. Janine or Jeannie? Janine. Hello? Hello? Hi. It's uh, Janine. Hi, Janine. Yes, um, what a night. I just turned you on by accident, and uh, I've called a couple of other times. But your guest, um, he, I am right at that situation where I went to some religious Bible studies, and um, um, if anything, it's disillusioned me so much. And to listen to him talk, I... That's how I believe that there is energy and that out there. So it was so nice to hear him saying that um, because part of the question that I have is that people don't take me seriously when I speak and um, they'll either cut me off or they'll laugh at what I say and this has gone on all my life and I'm, I'm wondering why is this happening and um, I'm getting very disillusioned and now I'm almost afraid to believe that there is just an energy uh, but I don't believe in God anymore I believe they're like him I, I believe that there maybe was a God or there is somebody but I believe more that it is our consciousness mm -hmm. well you are you are a part of God so to speak and we all are. We're part of one great consciousness living an existence here and existences in the past and in the future uh, subjectively. Uh, you know, we, we're, each of us is here for a reason and uh, 
but that doesn't make us any less part of the greater whole. So when you look at what, you, what you've experienced when it, in terms of people not listening or, or you know, things like that, the, the collective unconsciousness really don't like to hear what the awake have to say. And if, exactly. when you put it into that context, um, the, the advice I would give to you is some advice that was given to me. There will always be people at a lower frequency than you and a higher frequency than you're at currently. Seek okay. to learn and be around the ones who are a rung or two on that ladder above yourself. Don't be looking down. Surround yourself with people who basically vibrate at a frequency that you're compatible with. Yes, definitely. And because the right people will accept you for who you are. So at, at different times in our life, and there's no such thing as time and space, so it doesn't matter what age you're at. Y you know, sometimes we have to take a look at, you know what, my path is actually different than this person or that person, and, and you're not saying I'm better than anybody else. It's just that, you know, you, you got to gravitate towards more people that you can really connect with on a higher level of consciousness, absolutely. So, and, and now do. you're ready because y you're owning it. So what you're going to find now is you're going to start to attract different people on your level of consciousness, and the reason being is because you're ready. That's why. So yes, your voice will be heard. So your, your voice wasn't being heard before because you weren't with the right soul tribe, as I call it. So have no worries, surrender, and just go with the flow. Because this, you know, again, for you, it's going to be a good year for you to own who you are. So, and thank you so much for calling. We, we've already got other people on hold already. Thank you. And I appreciate, we're live here every Wednesday evening as well. Okay. Thank yes. you. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling in. And we have one more caller for one quick question. Okay. Uh, I would just say to Janine, who just called yeah. in, to check out the website that's on the screen. And if she has any further questions, to email. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have Shelly. Shelly, you, you have a quick question for yeah. us? I'd just like to know if there is anyone from that has passed over that I have around surrounded me, that's around me? Well, we, uh, the people that have passed over, um, they are around us, and they will come to you whenever you call them. And what I normally do, because I can feel a lot of energy around me with a lot of different people who have passed, so let's say if I wanted to talk to somebody, for instance, whoever it was, then I'll just say, you know, their name, you know, can you please give me more of a physical sign? Okay. Um, I just hear somebody say, you just got to lighten up. You just got to lighten up. And something about your laughter, your, your laughter can be really contagious. You got a really big heart. Okay. Yes. Yes. Male, male energy is coming through with that. All right. Yeah. Um, but the laughter, 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 laughter. Don't take things as serious. Let that go. And be more in the now is what I keep hearing. Do I have angels around me? We all have angels and our guides around us. And unfortunately, I'm getting the wrap up sign okay. already. Um, thank you, Shelly. You can always email me, Shelly, if you need to get more information. Great, thank you. Yes, you're, you're very welcome. And I want to thank my guest, James, for coming on tonight. My pleasure. We could talk forever. We normally do, anyways. <laughs> you know, and as I always say, of course, you got to be true to yourself. And, you know, for those people who you can't connect with, you'll attract a whole new tribe. And this is Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and we're live here every Wednesday night. And all the shows are on YouTube as well if you want to catch them. So take care, everyone. See you next Wednesday night on Shaw TV.